It's been all but confirmed that the next Samsung flagship phone, I think they're calling it the S20, that's what it looks like they're gonna call it, will not have a headphone jack. I mean, we saw it coming when the Note 10 didn't have a headphone jack, but still, Samsung had been one of the stalwarts they had held out, but now it's pretty much official. With the removal of the headphone jack from the S20, the headphone jack is dead. And that makes me sad. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I have complained quite a bit about the removal of the headphone jack from smartphones. Ever since Apple took the headphone jack out of the iPhone 7, I have been, well, I mean, angry about it? Is, is that, yeah, I guess let's go with angry. I've been angry about it. Apple, not too much later, released the AirPods. And since that time, they have been maybe Apple's best product in years. And uh, they've sold a whole bunch of them and all that kind of thing. And of course, as is the case with anything in any industry, as soon as the industry leader does something and does it well, has success, then the others in the industry are going to follow. So Google, who made fun of Apple in 2017 for removing the headphone jack, uh, well, the next year, they very quietly took it away and didn't say anything. Samsung mocked Apple in commercials for taking away the headphone jack, but those commercials were very quickly erased from the internet uh, as they released the Note 10 without the jack. There have been a lot of reasons given for taking the headphone jack away. I mean, one is courage. <laughs> Also, space for added or improved features and better battery life. In my estimation, the fact that Apple had just purchased Beats for three point whatever million billion dollars right before the iPhone 7 came out, and uh, they, they, they probably wanted to give people a reason to buy some headphones, um, so they, you know, it was in their best interest to do so. Granted, the AirPods and later the AirPods Pro have proven themselves to be very good products, but it's hard not to look at the move and see at least a small financial incentive there for changing things up and taking that jack away. Samsung introduced the Galaxy Buds last year when they released the S10. A lot of people seem to like those. I'm not a huge fan, but a lot of people like them. The next phone they released uh, after the Galaxy Buds had some success, uh, no jack. The Galaxy S20, no jack. It's gonna be jackless. Jack, no jack. Jack of a jack. That leaves LG as the only major player in the smartphone game to still have a headphone jack. And the headphone jack they use is certainly special. I mean, it delivers better audio quality than a lot of purpose-made uh, DACs, etc., etc. Um, but now they're all alone. The writing has been on the wall for some time, and I'm finally, finally ready to give in. The headphone jack, at least when it comes to mobile devices, is dead. The AirPods, and especially the AirPods Pro, sound pretty good, they're super convenient. The big problem with Bluetooth headphones back in the day was that they were always, it was hard to hook them up and they just didn't really pair all that well or maybe they ran out of battery so you couldn't listen to anything while you were on your way home. But Apple has pretty much solved those problems with the AirPods, uh, you know, not entirely, but for the most part. And as Bluetooth has improved, it's much easier to use Bluetooth headphones than ever before. There are still hiccups from time to time that wouldn't happen with wired headphones. Yes, that's true. But wireless has become reliable enough that they can replace the wired headphones for the majority of use cases people have for headphones. And yes, this makes me sad. I use wired headphones every day in my studio for recording, live streaming, editing. The list is pretty long. But if I'm totally honest, it's been a long time since I used a set of wired headphones with any of my mobile devices. Yeah. Part of that is because the jacks aren't there, of course, if I'm using my iPhone, and I have no choice. But even with my LG V50, if I'm headed out to walk the dog or on the way to the gym or something like that, I'll grab a pair of wireless earbuds, not wired, 90% of the time. Most of the time, the environment, those places aren't conducive to great audio quality anyway, so it's not really that important to have your best headphones on. And yes, I'll even admit that it's nice to not have the wires around. I mean, I can't believe I just said that, but it's true. There are still plenty of issues with wireless headphones. Bluetooth can only reproduce a fraction of the bandwidth that wired headphones can. But if people are listening to MP3s and low quality MP3 podcasts and all that kind of stuff, then it 
doesn't really matter. The, an MP3 can't produce high quality sound enough to outdo what Bluetooth is capable of. And as people keep telling me, the sound you get from Bluetooth is good enough for most people. I mean, I'm not a big believer in good enough. I think the people should have an option to get the highest quality possible, even if they don't know that they want it. But in this day and age of on-demand everything, I guess convenience trumps quality. Especially when I myself now opt for convenience nine times out of 10 anyway. I still love wired headphones and I always will. There's nothing like the experience of being completely immersed in what you're listening to, having the ability to hear every little detail and really study the music. There aren't too many experiences like that in our culture anymore. And we've given up the unique hyper-personal experiences that we that used to be available to us for a kind of buffet style, everything all at once of music streaming service, on-demand video, all that kind of stuff. The places where I really go to disconnect and let my brain slow down and just kind of chill out are, you know, inside my headphones and inside of a book, either on a Kindle or as an actual physical thing with words on the pages. But the majority of the world just doesn't do that anymore. It's time for me to accept that what I love about those kinds of experiences are not valuable to the majority of people. The headphone jack is dead. The deed is done. I will always love the experience I get with my wired headphones, but now as Samsung officially removes it from pretty much all of the flagship phones that are out there, and how long can LG hang on? It's probably time for me to stop tilting at windmills and just let people have their wireless headphones. Bluetooth will continue to get better, and maybe one of these days it will actually be able to sound as good as a pair of wired headphones. <laughs> maybe, maybe? There's no stopping progress, whether it's good for us or not. So I'm just, yeah, headphone jack, dead.